Hello everybody, and today I would love to introduce yet another PowerPoint game. Today's game is actually a reading game, so it's going to be quite simple. So I'll just be very direct and explain how you can use this to play in a class. Now the game that I've made here is being designed to work with class sizes of around 10 to 15 students. I will add another version that would be more useful for bigger classes, let's say around 20 to 22 students. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So this is the Encanto reading game. I am a big fan of using reading games in the classroom. So what you do is you get everybody to stand up and then uh, make an order. You could go from the front or the back, uh, choose the student to go first, and then they take a turn one by one, and they have to read either a word or a sentence that you have made from the template that is this game. So for example, we have a welcome. All you need to do is just click on the rounded rectangular box, and that's gonna reveal a picture behind. And in this case, we've got continue to stand up. I've put a Korean language in there. You can delete that out and put another language in if you like. Uh, next one we got here is, uh, well, next student takes a turn to the family. Welcome to the family. Let's just click on this one. So this is a little different this time. We've got uh, sit down and I've actually got two different pictures or two different animated GIFs that I've used for the sit down just to make it a little more interesting. So if they get either one of these um, pictures here, these animated GIFs, they have to sit down. And the last one, uh, Madrigal, welcome to the family. This is uh, the family of Madrigal. So let's just click on this last one here. <laughs> this is the fun one. So choose another student to stand up again. Um, if this is revealed by the student choosing the word or the sentence, they can actually choose another one of the students who is currently sitting down to stand up and come back into the game. And that student can also continue standing up themselves. This is what makes the game a little more interesting and dynamic. Okay, so are you ready to read? <laughs> Not play, but are you ready to read? It's a bit of a grainy image, that one. Anyway, this is round one. So there's some music here, Columbia. And um, what I tend to find with these games, if you are playing this for the first time, it can be a little bit difficult because some students are not quite sure how to follow this game. And if you are playing with very young learners who have never played, it can be very difficult. So just for example, I actually played this very game today with um, very young students and it worked. It worked perfectly, but it took a short time just to get into the rhythm of playing this game. So this first slide is uh, critical to make sure the students know how to play. So for example, number one, which is template. And of course, you can change this to be a word or a sentence of your liking. Just click on this one. So this student is going to continue to stand up. And you see I've got a little image there on the left, a PNG image of somebody standing up. I've also got Korean language there. If you're teaching in Korea, you can use this with Korean students. And it's going to tell the students that when they get this picture, they need to continue standing up. I know we've already explained it just before but it's really good just in this first slide, in this first round, to establish the concept of how this game is played. So let's keep going. Um, the template on number two. Yeah, we got sit down there. And another image is gonna come up on the right-hand side there, showing that uh, that student needs to uh, sit down. So number three, so sit down. So we got a different animated GIF there. And the same again, there's an image on the left-hand side indicating to sit down. Number four, continue to stand up. Same thing with uh, the same image for standing up. Uh, number five, stand up again. And then the last one, number six, so click on this one. Yeah, choose another student to stand up again. And I put some images on the bottom right-hand side there. There's a, a, a PNG image of someone standing up and then a kind of green circular. Uh, do it again one more time. And Korean language there also to indicate that uh, the student needs to stand up again. Um, if you're not working in Korean schools, you could delete that or you could add in the language that you are using. So that's the first round there. 
So two students are going to end up sitting down and one student is going to have a chance to choose another student to stand up again. So that's round one. Uh, just go to round two here and then you just keep playing the game in the same way. On the second slide, I haven't got any of those PNG images on the left or the right hand side. So just go through this game and just play round by round. And what I'm going to point out, I think it's on the seventh round. Let me explain how this game works. As I will say, the notes that I put in these games can be very useful. They're useful for me a lot of the time when I'm using these games. So by round seven, if you have 10 students in the class, this would most likely be the last round. Uh, if you have 10 students by this slide, um, all of the students are going to be sitting down. Well, there'll be one last student who will be the winner. However, if you have a bigger class of 15 students, uh, just keep on going for three more slides. And in round 10, uh, this should be the final round for a class of around 15 students. So if you're going to do seven rounds for 10 students, you can just delete out the next three slides. Or if you want to, what you could do is just use those three slides anyway. And then what you can do is just go back to the beginning of the game and play again. That's something that I tend to do quite a lot. And when we get to the final round, just let me show you this one. We have some different music on the final round. And we have a big final round <laughs> writing flying across the screen there. So yeah, uh, the 10th slide here is um, round, the final round. So stand up, sit down, sit down, stand up. And that is it. Okay, so it's quite simple really. I've got a nice um, ending slide here. The end and some different music. And go ahead and say thank you to everyone for playing so nicely. Anyway, so this is a template as it always is with these games. So all you need to do is writing whatever you want. So let's just say something very simple. Let's just say like it was fruits, for example. You might put something like apple, uh, orange, you know, something simple like this. But you can make um, single words, full sentences. You can make uh, longer sentences. Um, in the case of like these words here, like apple, you're going to need to increase the font size to make it look uh, more visible. Um, if you're making longer sentences, you may need to decrease the font size. And this font is all in Comic Sans. I like to use this font because I think it's quite clear and easy to read. Okay, so that is about it. I cannot think of anything else I need to mention. So please go ahead and download this game from the Google Drive link that I will put in the description of this uh, video. And uh, currently getting close to 400 subscribers. So if anyone sees this video, if you're feeling in the mood, how about subscribing? And um, just on one very last note, I have opened up um, a second channel. Actually, it's been there a long time, but I haven't really developed it. Uh, on my second YouTube channel, I am going to only have these games. And I'm also going to work on doing more kind of tutorials and tutorials about other programs like Photoshop and LumaFusion and also possibly some reviews of um, useful products. Oh, and other creative stuff, arts and crafts, um, storybooks, um, anything that's connected with being creative, with teaching and also technology. So really, that is it now. I really cannot think of anything else I need to add here. If anybody has any questions, then please go ahead and just uh, write them in the comments. And um, that is it. I will be back with another video, hopefully if I'm working on schedule here, have something new to offer next Friday. I have a lot of other games, lots of games I've been using for years. So what I really need to do is to polish those games up and get them published so that more people can use them. And like I said, I hope this is useful. Um, actually, one last thing I would say is that um, if you want to use these games online, well, go ahead and adapt them. Uh, some people have told me that they can adapt these games to work in online. So I, I don't know, you could have like an, an in-out game. The, the students are in and out the game if they're sitting down at their computers. 
So I will think about that a little bit more. How can we design these games to work um, better for online classes? Because so many people are doing online classes these days. Anyway, take care. Have a great weekend and um, enjoy your teaching. Jalga, bye bye.